Hi, this is Dr. Erica, and we're working on our edible optics portion of our Asteroid of Doom trilogy. So, I've already cut some of my jello pieces, but I wanted to give you an idea of some of the tips and tricks that I use when I'm working with the jello. So, whenever you have your cookie cutters, look for sort of the cookie cutters that have the very thin piece coming out. So, you don't want sort of, you want to use the thin side, but some cookie cutters are really thick when you cut them. So, you want the sharp metal cookie cutters. I like to dip them in hot water because the heat will sort of melt the jello around. And part of the reason for that is if you have sort of all of these jaggedy edges on your jello, your laser beam is going to come through and it's going to hit all those edges and go every which way. And you're not going to see what that curve does. So you want to keep sort of this outside edge of your jello as smooth as possible. And the best way that I have found to do that is with the hot water. I've also found that plastic wrap doesn't do so well. Plastic wrap really clings to it. It doesn't peel off as much as you would like it to. That even happens with parchment paper sometimes. So what I've started doing is using parchment paper and spraying it with some cooking spray so that it kind of comes off nicely and easily. It's a hot day today, so we're actually melting our jello a little bit. But normally it will come off very, very easily for you. Hopefully that helps you guys perfect your edible optics and defeat our asteroid of doom.